angels, it's Haley Reese, and I hope that you guys are having a fantastic morning, afternoon, night, whatever it is for you when today's video finally reaches you. Before we get into today's video, I just very quickly want to remind you guys that I have launched new merch. We have the Wine and Spirits t-shirt, and we have the Believe hoodie, and my uncle designed them and just kind of brought my vision to life as far as what I wanted for merch for you guys. So if you guys would like to get a t-shirt or a hoodie of your very own, the link is down in the description and you can pick up your own Haley Reese Believe hoodie or Haley Reese Wine and Spirits t-shirt. <laughs> but um, without further ado, I kind of want to just dive right on into today's video. Now, I have been incredibly fascinated by this video concept this bridge, this story, this case for so long now. And the only reason that I haven't brought it on my channel at all yet to date is just because anytime the word suicide is brought up or anytime just suicide in general is brought up, it really is such a touchy subject. And I am very sensitive to that world and I would just absolutely never want to trigger or offend somebody and while this is to do with animals I mean I look at my animals as my family my dogs are literally like my children I love them with my whole entire heart soul and being so it's so sad to me this whole entire bridge and the concept of it and what occurs there so with that being said I am going to give a disclaimer right here right now and just letting you guys know that what we are talking about today is a bridge where dogs ultimately leap to their death or leap to what could have been their death. And there's so many interesting theories about it and it really is fascinating, so to speak. And the reason that I say so to speak is because I really don't like using the word fascinating when it comes to traumatic cases or cases in general or real life true crime and things like that because I don't wanna seem like I'm fascinated by tragedy. But I mean, it's just so, fascinating in a sense like you just really want to know what exactly is occurring there and all of the different theories so if this video seems as though it might be a video that may or may not trigger you definitely click out of today's video but if you are interested in hearing about this and all the different theories surrounding it then let's just dive right on into it so located in Dumberton, Scotland, I hope that I'm pronouncing that right, is a bridge that has been enticing dogs to leap to their death since the early 60s. So the bridge is called Overton Bridge and it's a bridge that stretches across a 50 foot gorge. But locals of Dumberton began referring to the bridge not as Overton Bridge, but as Dog Suicide Bridge. Now looking back on the bridge, the bridge undoubtedly does have a dark history to it and tragic events have occurred there. In 1994, on a clear day, a man threw his son over the bridge to his death, claiming his son to be the Antichrist. The man would actually attempt to end his life twice, the first time by attempting to jump off the bridge to follow his infant son, which he was stopped from doing from his wife, and then again another time. The infant child unfortunately passed away in the hospital the following day, but the man was found not guilty of attempted murder by reason of insanity in a unanimous verdict, and he was admitted to a psychiatric hospital. But this was in 1994, and dogs had been jumping from the bridge since the early 60s. So what could possibly be the reason that so many dogs would leap off of this bridge. According to New York Times, researchers estimate that approximately 300 dogs have leapt off of that bridge, while tabloids and other news reports indicate that it might even be closer to around 600. But unfortunately, with that number, approximately 50 dogs have in fact leapt to their death off of the bridge. Meaning that while so many dogs have jumped off the bridge and not all have passed away, some have. What's so weird about this is that the dogs all jump from the exact same spot on the bridge between two ramparts on the right end of the bridge. Even eerier, it only has been known to happen on clear days. Days where the sky is clear and it's a completely clear weather day. Now shockingly enough, witnesses have witnessed dogs climbing up the wall of the bridge 
just to jump off of it. And in even more disturbing reports, witnesses have seen dogs who have jumped off and survived attempt to re-jump off the bridge again. My voice just cracked there. Attempt to re-jump off the bridge again. The Scottish Society for Prevention of Cruelty to Animals actually sent representatives out to investigate the scene. And even they too were stumped by it all. It is almost certain that the dogs jumping off the bridge do not intend to die. In fact, many people believe that they don't even notice the height of the bridge before leaping off and that it seems as though something must be enticing the dogs to leap off the bridge. Even in one study, a GoPro was attached to the head of a dog and they had the dog walk up to the bridge to kind of see what the dog was seeing and why perhaps the dog might leap off. And in that study, it was shown that the dog was unable to see the height of the bridge from that point of where they jump. And unfortunately, by the time the dog may have jumped or the dogs do jump, it's too late. They're falling 50 feet or so. Now, there are plenty of locals who believe that the hidden factor behind it, the enticement behind it, may perhaps be paranormal. And others have referred to the space where the dogs jump from as what they refer to as a thin place, a space where heaven and earth overlap, and that maybe the dogs are jumping to a beautiful place, something that entices them and makes them want to be there. And unfortunately, they don't realize that that's not where they're jumping to. There's also a legend of a white lady who many people have reported seeing in the area, a spirit that they see out of their peripheral vision or have seen looking back at them. And it's almost a theory that perhaps it's this white lady that entices the dogs to jump off the bridge. Now, one more scientific theory that people believe could perhaps play a role in this is that dogs have an incredible sense of smell, but unfortunately not the world's greatest eyesight and that perhaps they're enticed by the mammals below and the smell lures them to the bridge where they jump off of. Dr. David Sands, a renowned animal behaviorist, was brought to the bridge in order to investigate what could be going on there. And while he agrees it could have a lot to do with the biological theory, he also believes that it could be a very strange combination of multiple things, as he does say that there is a very strange feeling about the bridge as well. Where the biological theory is and the fact that it could be a sense of smell from below the bridge, the mammals from below the bridge, enticing the dogs to leap off, locals question why it doesn't happen at other bridges with similar mammals and similar smells below. Why this bridge in that one specific spot? That's what doesn't really make sense to them. But the area still remains an incredibly popular dog walking area and many people even still walk their dogs off the leash. But what really freaks me out, you guys, is in all of the different cases that I was looking through for this bridge. A lot of the dog owners said it was a normal day. They were just walking on the bridge when all of a sudden their dog completely just jumped off. There was no warning signs. There was nothing strange to them in that moment. Their dog who hadn't otherwise done anything like this just all of a sudden decided to jump off of the bridge. I can't even begin to fathom being on a walk with my dog and all of a sudden my dog just jumps off of a bridge that high up. It's like such a heartbreaking theory to me. And it almost makes me wonder why they wouldn't put something there so that the dogs couldn't jump. But on the same token, I just really can't fathom what it could be enticing the dogs to want to jump. What could it be? There's a lot of people who believe that it could be this heaven and earth overlapping thing or that there could be a portal or a vortex or a very thin veil there and that dogs being as pure as they are are very drawn to it and attempt to go there. There's even a theory that dogs who have loved ones or perhaps previous owners or family members that are on the other side approach this bridge where there's this portal vortex or a thin veil, see them there and want to reunite and try to jump off the bridge, but unfortunately they don't. They don't head where they were intending to. Many people who have had experiences with their dogs at the bridge claim that it's almost as though as they approached the bridge, something took over their dogs. It was as though something completely switched in them and they were just on a complete beeline straight to that section of the bridge. All of their undivided attention straight there. Now Scotland is a place that a lot of supernatural things happen and locals to the area claim that there's a lot of paranormal activity in the area in general that many people in that area believe in this because they've all had experiences at some point or another, which is why so many of them believe that it must be something paranormal, 
spiritual or supernatural. So I guess you might wonder why would people still walk their dogs in this area if it's known that dogs jump off the bridge and why would people walk their dogs without leashes in this area? And unfortunately, a lot of people believe that it's nothing more than an urban legend, that it's nothing more than a tale and a lot of them don't believe that it could happen to them until it does. There have been people who claim that they never ever imagined their dog would do such a thing as their dog was so obedient and wasn't a dog to even go too far, let alone leap off of a bridge. And unfortunately, they had experiences with their dog doing so. There's other people who claim that when they bring their dogs on the bridge, their dog has never actually attempted to jump off of the bridge, but their dog's behavior changes drastically when they are on the bridge, leading them to believe that there must be some sort of energy. And there's plenty of people who believe there might be a specific ghost behind it, though nobody knows certain. All that they know is that for some reason, dogs are just drawn to that area and they jump before they realize that that is one of the most dangerous things they could ever do. I don't know you guys, I just, I could sit here and think about this all day and try to come up with a logical explanation as to why these dogs would do that. But to me, it's just, I don't know. I think for me, what I believe the most is that there must be some sort of a thin veil there. There must be something that the dogs are seeing. I mean, it could be a sense of smell, but I don't know. To me, it's just so eerie and unsettling. And when I look at the bridge, I just get a very strange feeling. And the fact that it always happens on clear days, there's just something about it that leads me to believe that there's something there that the dogs see that maybe the human eye can't see that entices them to leave but I wanna know what you guys think of this. Let me know in the comments below what your theory is. Why do you think these dogs are leaping off the bridge? And what are your thoughts on the whole entire thing? Let me know in the comments below. And that is it for today's video. If you guys are new to my channel or you are just not yet subscribed but you do enjoy my videos, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button. And please give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Remember my loves, do all things with kindness. And until tomorrow, I love you guys.